welcome, and I'm truly honored to have the privilege of speaking here tonight. Congratulations to all the students receiving their diplomas. We should be really proud of ourselves. It's important at this moment to look around at our peers and realize the impact they've had on our lives these past four years, both small and large. Getting to walk this stage would not be possible without the support of others. I want to thank the faculty and staff for helping us do our best, along with families, friends, and loved ones for supporting us through the ups and downs of high school. Personally, I want to give a special thank you to a few incredible faculty members. Although I did not have the privilege of joining our class until junior year, Ms. Doucette has had a generous impact on my life and outlook on such. She not only teaches an entertaining class on American literature, but simultaneously teaches her students how to be good humans. Thanks, Ms. Doucette, for everything. I'd also like to thank my shop teachers in the health assisting wing. For four years, they pushed us to be our best selves and certainly made sure we know how to follow the rules. They were always there for a good laugh or a shoulder to cry on and consistently made sure we knew that we could depend on them and still can. I hope each of you has been able to create such impactful relationships with the staff at Shawsheen. With that, I'd like to welcome all of you as we begin our final celebration as Shawsheen's class of 2023. Go Rams! Strong. And I'm Michael Parent. We are the student representatives of Shawsheen's School Council. We would first like to thank you all for joining us this evening to celebrate the senior class of 2023. As student representatives in the School Council, we are the voices of the students, meaning that we address concerns for our fellow students as well as provide feedback on the student handbook. We would also like to give some thanks to those who have given us the opportunity to be up here today. Ms. Mountain, who runs Student Council and who has provided her full support for us throughout the past four years, as well as the Student Council members who elected us for these positions. Lastly, we would like to thank our principal, Ms. Cook, for giving us her full support in School Council and for inviting us to speak today. At this time, we kindly ask that everyone please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. We now ask that everyone please remain standing for a student rendition of our national anthem by the Shawshank Music Club under the direction of Mrs. Rita Blanchett and Mrs. Katie Maniscalco.
Thank you. You may be seated. Hi everyone. My name is Eli Ulbert and I'm a part of the Culinary Arts Shop. This year I had the honor of being a student representative for Shashin School Committee. Getting to listen and learn by going to the meetings was an amazing experience. Now I have the pleasure of introducing the Superintendent Director, Mr. Tony McIntosh. I have seen the level of commitment he has brought to our school during his first year, and I was able to experience it firsthand during the school committee meetings. Mr. McIntosh started as a Superintendent Director for the first time at Shawshank this year, but his countless years of experience at technical schools started at Franklin County Technical School, where he graduated in 1991 and later returned as a metal fabrication teacher. I'm sure that when he was a sophomore in Metal Fab, he had no idea where his journey would take him. But Mr. McIntosh is living proof of the power of a career technical education. We are happy to have him here as a leader and a role model. Without further ado, it is my pleasure to introduce Superintendent Director, Mr. Tony McIntosh. Thank you, Eli, for those nice comments. As Eli said, this is my first year here at Shawshin, and I hope it's the, the first of many to come. First of all, good evening and welcome to the Shawshin Valley Technical School commencement ceremonies for the class of 2023. Before I begin my remarks this evening, I want to take a few moments and recognize some of the adults in the audience that made this event possible this evening. Let me begin by introducing the members of our district school committee. Representing the community of Bedford, we have Mr. Brian O'Donnell, and Mrs. Nancy Isbedia. Mr. O'Donnell is currently serving as the vice chair of the committee. Mrs. Isbedian was unable to join us this evening, but she sends her well wishes to all of our graduates. Representing the community of Bill Ricca, we have Mr. Ron Fusco and Ms. Taryn Gillis. Representing the community of Burlington, we have Mr. Kent Moffitt and Ms. Christine Kim. Ms. Chris, uh, Ms. Kim is currently the treasurer of our district school committee. Representing the town of Tewksbury, we have Ms. Patricia Muse and Ms. Cheryl Bartolone. And finally, representing the community of Wilmington, we have Mr. Charlie Fiore and Ms. Glenn, La Glenn, La Gwen, excuse me, Gwen Lawson. Sorry about that. Uh, Mr. Fiore is currently the chair of our school committee, and Ms. Lawson is serving as the secretary at this time. Um, I would be remiss if I did not thank the Facilities Department for all their hard work in preparing for this event. They've been hard at work since last week to make sure that everything was perfect for tonight's ceremony. While most of the time these hardworking individuals go unnoticed, their dedication and professionalism are on display this evening. I would also like to recognize all of the Shawshank Valley Technical School administrators, faculty, and staff that have helped our graduates reach this milestone. These are the individuals that work behind the scene every day to help our students succeed. Most of us have read about the impact that the global pandemic has had on the teaching profession. And I do want to say a special thank you to these educators that show up ready to support our students day after day and year after year. Your impact is immeasurable. We do have some staff members that will be retiring at the end of the school year. And I would also like to take a moment to thank them for the years of service. Our retirees include Ms. Sheila Fitzpatrick, the Support Services Department Chair, who will be leaving us after 22 and a half years of service. <laughs> Ms. Angel Hardy is our, our uh, Science Department Chair, and she'll be leaving us after 18 years of service. Ms. Sandra McKenzie is a cosmetology instructor who will be leaving us after 16 years of service. <laughs> Ms. Patricia Nicolizzi is a health assisting instructor and she'll be leaving us after 18 years of service. <laughs> Mr. Richard Woodlock, a, a longtime carpentry instructor who served the district for 17 years, uh, actually retired a little earlier in the year, but we also wanted to recognize him for his contributions to our students. <laughs> Let me thank all of you um, for your years of dedicated service to the district and our students. At this time, I'd like to say welcome to all of the parents, guardians, friends, and supporters of the class of 2023 that are here for this evening's event. 
This class will always be special to me as the class of 2023 is the, is the first graduating class that I, that's, excuse me, the first graduating class since I became superintendent director here at Shashi. So you are my first. I will always remember the class of 2023. Um, hopefully I'm here for many years to come, but you will, there will never be another first um, for me as far as this goes. I've always viewed graduation season as a time to reflect upon what's happened and what is next to come. All the students sitting before me today have overcome a number of obstacles to be here and have participated in a variety of experiences during their high school career. In case any of you forgot, the class of 2023 were high school freshmen when the global pandemic hit in March of 2020. The adjustment to high school is, different, is difficult during a quote unquote normal year and leaving your friends behind to attend a school like Shoshin Valley Technical School is never easy but all of the students overcame those barriers and are stronger for those experiences. This group of students learned to navigate a variety of online learning platforms as they were forced to, to shift their studies to an online uh, remote platform. As an adult during the same time, I had some real difficulties with this, so I'm sure that the students had very similar experiences. So congratulations to all of you for navigating that challenge. The good news is that you learned and adapted. As we come together today to celebrate the conclusion of your high school journey, there are many other events that have marked your progress. Many of you have participated in cooperative education or co-op during your time here at the school. At one point during the current school year, we had 76% of our senior class participating in co-op, which uh, having worked in, in three other schools, that is an awesome accomplishment. Congratulations to all of you. That I'm pleased to share that 77 of our graduating seniors have committed to going to work full-time for the co-op employers, and to me that illustrates the power of what we do here in the, in the uh, transition and support. <laughs> One of the things that Eli didn't mention earlier, um, I was a co-op student myself. As I ended my high school career, I went out and started working before the end of my senior year, and I can, I can personally tell you um, I, I firmly believe in the system and it provides so many different growth opportunities for our students to help them whether they decide they want to stay in their career field or whether they want to go on for secondary education. Um, it is a great program and it's very powerful and if there are any people in the audience tonight that support us by hiring our students, you have my heartfelt thanks for that as well. Many of the students sitting before me have participated in Skills USA during your high school career. Members of the class of 2023 have served as chapter officers, officers, competed in local, state, and national competitions, and have built a lifetime of memories from these experiences. The class of 2023 includes many student athletes, and your accomplishments cannot be ignored. We've had numerous teams compete at a high level this school year, and many of you were key contributors to the success of those teams. There are also members of the class of 2023 that have demonstrated reading, writing, listening, and speaking skills in a second language and have earned the Massachusetts seal of biliteracy. We are proud to celebrate the first ever graduates from Shawshin Valley Technical School to achieve this milestone. Many of you have chosen to pursue additional training and education, and I'm proud to say that members of the class of 2023 will be attending no less than 56 different colleges and universities. <laughs> Shasheen Valley Technical School students are expected to complete their academic studies in half the time of their traditional high school peers, and all of you have met that challenge and found a way to prosper. On Tuesday night, we recognized 76 students at our annual scholarship night, and we had the privilege of distributing $140,350 in awards to the students. <laughs> Congratulations again to the students that, that received those particular scholarships. Um, many years ago, I sat in the audience at a, at a high school graduation. It was for one of my, my sister-in-laws. And I listened to the class salutatorian um, 
as she shared a poem, a graduation poem that was written by Mr. Theodore Giesel. Most of you probably don't recognize Mr. Giesel by that name, but you probably recognize his pen name, Dr. Seuss. In June of 1977, Mr. Giesel was asked to speak at the commencement ceremonies for Lake Forest College. He refused. After many follow-up requests and under pressure from his family and friends, he eventually agreed. When Mr. Giesel was called to the podium to speak, he offered no opening remarks, but instead read the following, po pro uh, po following poem. The poem is titled, My Uncle Terwilger and the Art of Eating Popovers. My uncle ordered popovers from the restaurant's bill of fare. And when they were served, he regarded them with a penetrating stare. Then he spoke great words of wisdom as he sat there on that chair. To eat these things, said my uncle, you must exercise great care. You may swallow down what's solid, but you must spit out the air. And as you partake the world's bill of fare, that's darn good advice to follow. Do a lot of spitting out of hot air and be careful what you swallow. When Mr. Giesel was done reading the poem, he took his seat and made no other remarks during the ceremony. Uh, I'd like to wrap up with just a couple of comments on, on what I think about that and what it kind of means to our graduates sitting here this evening. As all of you leave behind your high school experience, I would encourage you to remember Mr. Giesel's words. You will have many people giving you advice but trust me when I tell you, not all advice is created equal. As you move into and through the next stages of your life, please remember to spit out the hot air. I want to challenge all of you to ask questions and learn about the world around you. In its purest form, public education is tasked with creating informed citizens that are capable of participating in a democratic republic. You are the future of our communities, our commonwealth, and our nation. Thank you all, and I wish you success and happiness. Good evening, everyone. First, I'd like to say that I am a proud graduate of Shawshank as well, and I'm honored to be here in front of you today. Uh, I'm going to help you short because there's plenty of speakers behind me that have been with you through your whole journey and they'll have much better things to say, I'm sure. just want to briefly touch upon some of the things the school committee does and first and foremost is appointing a superintendent. And we hope that appointing Tony has given you a very good senior year and hopefully uh, we will see him for years to come as he's also a student. Other things that we do, like contract negotiations, policy making, budgets, we do all of this in consideration of the student. We try to understand everything, gather as much information with the administration and others to make choices on what's best for you, the student. And I think I can speak for the whole board that we hope the decisions we've made have impacted you in a positive way and will carry with you through life. With that, well done, congratulations, and have a great night. Good evening, faculty, families, and fellow graduates. Today, we are here to celebrate our achievements and officially finish high school. And I stand before you as a salutatorian, and I'm honored to represent our incredible class. We've come a very long way together, facing multiple challenges and triumphs along the journey. And now, we are right on the edge of a new era in our lives, armed with the knowledge and experiences that have shaped us into who we are now. Throughout high school, we have witnessed the power of unity and the strength that lies within our collective spirit. We have tackled difficult exams, navigated through extracurricular activities, and supported one another through both achievements and setbacks. We have shown resilience, determination, and an unbreakable commitment to success. But obviously, we did not get here alone. Our accomplishments are testaments to the constant support and guidance of our teachers, our mentors, and our families. 
They have been our guiding light, pushing us to reach for the stars and reminding us of our unlimited potential. Let us take a moment to express our deepest gratitude to all those who have played a part in our journey. As we move on to the next chapter in our lives, we must remember everything we have learned so far. The importance of hard work, dedication, and the insane power of helping others. The memories we have created, the friendships we have forged, and the moments that have shaped us into the individuals we are today will be everlasting. And now it is our turn to make a difference in the world. Each and every one of us possesses unique talents and passions that can be used to change lives and create a positive impact. Whether it's in the field of science, the arts, or literally anything else you choose to pursue, always strive to leave a worthy legacy. As we part ways and travel down separate paths, I have no doubt that we will continue to achieve greatness. The bonds formed here will remain strong, connecting us wherever we go. We will accept the challenges that lie ahead with the same courage and determination that have brought us here today. Congratulations, graduates. After working tirelessly and overcoming so many obstacles, we have emerged stronger than ever. As we step into the future, let us do so with confidence, passion, and a commitment to making a positive impact in the world. Thank you, class of 2023. Introduce my good friend, the valedictorian Noah Bray. My fellow classmates here at Shawshin Tech, today marks a monumental milestone within our lives that will forever be etched in our memories. From today onwards, we will move on from our high school education to further ventures, whether it is a career or further education. But today, we celebrate this momentous occasion within our lives by looking at what we have done. Four years ago, we made a courageous decision in choosing to attend this school choosing to go against the grain and get the education we desire. Today, we reflect upon that choice and we are grateful for everything it brought us. Here at Shashin, we have created enduring friendships, discovered new interests, and fostered meaningful connections with our teachers, whether in the academic realm or our vocational shop. We have alternating weeks with dedicated learning to an area of our choice which most other high schoolers cannot say they have. The acquired skills and expertise we have within our vocational shops gave us opportunities that others could have only dreamt of. Despite having half the time because of our vocational program, we were also still able to get a comprehensive high school education from our academic classes. And for some of us, we were able to get real world work experience through the school's co-op program which not only gave us the knowledge, gave us knowledge, but allowed us to get paid for attending school, which is something most of us could not say they did in high school. However, we must notice that none of this would be possible without the unwavering support that the administration and the teachers of this school gave us. Their efforts to give us every possible chance to be our best sets them apart as much as our education sets us apart. Above all, the contributions by each and every one of you, my classmates, have allowed Shashin Tech to become an extraordinary place to learn. Each of you left a lasting mark on our future and the future of Shashin Tech as a whole. The amazing achievements you have completed here will not be forgotten, even after we leave to you. Today, we stand at the edge of one chapter of our lives, ready to embark on the next, and as we do, I remind you to continue to hold the values you held here at Shashin. As you face the daunting challenges of the future, think back to the courageous choice you made in attending here and every decision that that choice caused in your life. Even though our time at Shashin may be coming to an end, remember the impact we have made and the memories we have forged here. We will journey into the future with confidence, knowing that we are capable of making a difference in the world. Congratulations, class of 2023. to introduce class president, Carrie Brown.
Good evening, friends, families, faculty, and of course, class of 2023 graduates. My name is Carrie Brown, your class of 2023 president. This is certainly not the first time or the last time you'll be hearing this. Congratulations, class of 2023. As class president, I have the honor of delivering the farewell address, my final assignment as a Shawshin Valley Technical High School student. Today marks the end of one chapter and the beginning of another. We have grown so much over these past few years, and I am proud to have been a part of such an incredible group of individuals. I want to take a moment to talk about an idea that has really resonated with me the power of positivity. We've all faced our fair share of challenges. We have had to navigate the difficulties of high school, all while dealing with the stress and uncertainty of growing up. Hours of homework, tricky social dynamics, de demanding jobs, and to top it all off, a pandemic that put our world on hold. <coughs> but through it all, I have learned that the most important thing we can do is stay positive. And with that in mind, I, alongside the class of 2023, have persevered. Positivity is a powerful force. It can lift us up and inspire us. That being said, I know staying positive is not always easy. Life is hard. Sometimes it's so hard that it seems like the world is ending. When the world, your world, feels like it's falling apart, you are left with one very important choice to make. You can choose to fall apart with it, or you can make the choice to never walk away from a challenge, never stand down, and never, ever give up. <coughs> Remember the power of positivity. There are days in high school when you have told yourself, I'm not good enough, I'm not smart enough, and plain and simply, I can't do this. Then there were days when we proved all of those thoughts wrong. We are good enough, we are smart enough, we can do this. In class of 2023, we did. I feel so lucky to have been a part of this community. There are many people I credit with helping me get to this spot on stage today. I'd like to take a moment to recognize a few of these people. First, an outstanding group of in individuals whose constant motivation and encouragement pushed me to reach new heights, my coaches. Thank you, Mr. Doug Michaud, Ms. Kim Dooley, Ms. Kate Marshall, Ms. Sam St. George, Ms. Katie McGinnis, and Ms. Alex O'Reilly. Great leaders do not create followers, they create more leaders. Next, I would like to thank someone who truly embodies the spirit of being a Shashin Ram. I have learned from her that each day there's always an opportunity to be kind. She has seen my potential and encouraged me to pursue my dreams. Thank you, Ms. Angela Kyra. And lastly, but certainly not least, I have my parents to thank most of all. No matter where I am, near or far, rain or shine, my parents have proved they will always show up for me. And with that, I am forever grateful for their constant support and love. I can't thank both of you enough for the sacrifices you've made to ensure my happiness and success. As we move on to the next chapter of our lives, let us do so with the spirit of positivity. Let us approach every challenge with optimism, every setback with determination, and every opportunity with enthusiasm. These graduates before me are moving on to great things. Some are joining the workforce, some are attending college, and some are choosing to serve their country. Now I ask that those joining the armed forces please stand and accept our gratitude.
Thank you. Nelson Mandela said, it is always impossible until it is done. With that, let us remember that we have the power to shape our own destinies and that with a positive attitude, anything is possible. You have the power to change the world in ways that no one has ever imagined. No one knows what is waiting for us just around the corner, and that may be frightening, but it's the idea of new possibilities that make our future so exciting. Class of 2023, remember, we cannot become what we want, but are rem remaining what we are, and what feels like the end is often just the beginning. Congratulations, fellow 2023 graduates. We did it. Good evening. I am Ella Reardon, class vice president and National Honor Society vice president. I want to congratulate you all on your monumental accomplishments, as well as thank two of the most important figures in our senior experience. I've been given the privilege of working with two of the best class advisors, Mr. Gore and Mr. Tildesley. Planning our senior events is imperative to our senior year and not an easy task to carry out. While this is a thankless job, I'd like to take a moment and speak on behalf of the class officers and the rest of our class in saying how much we truly appreciate the countless hours of work and planning you have put into the class of 2023. Nothing I can say can encompass how much we valued your guidance over these last four years, but please accept this small token of our gratitude. Though this cannot repay you for everything you've done for us, I hope we can show our appreciation. Thank you for giving us the best parts of our senior year. Madison Bastrash, the outgoing vice president of our Skills USA leadership team. As we all gather here today for our final moment to seniors, we have many things to give. One of them is for being the Parent Advisory Council. We are beyond grateful for all the time and energy that they have spent helping us over the last four years and make them as memorable as possible. This group of parents has managed to celebrate our class by putting together gift cards theme baskets, as well as the all-night grad party, along with helping us with anything else we have needed throughout these past four years. The class of 2023 would like to give back and honor their council for all of their hard work. We would like to present a bouquet to Ms. Michelle McPherson as a symbol of our gratitude. Please join me in thanking Ms. McPherson. Thank you to our student speakers for their words of wisdom, reflection, and gratitude this evening. I have the privilege of calling up these soon-to-be graduates to the stage to receive their diplomas this evening. But first, to the class of 2023, it has been an honor to be your principal and to watch you gracefully navigate and conquer the challenges that you have faced over the past four years. You are a wonderful, talented, and resilient group of young adults. I look forward to learning about what the future holds for each of you, and I wish you all the best as you transition on to the next chapter of your lives. Students, if you wanna begin lining up. So before I start calling the names, just want to say, class of 2023, we will miss having you here at Shawshank, but your impact will last well beyond this evening and the past four years. And to the families with us this evening, thank you for trusting us at Shawshank with the most important people in your lives for the past four years. It has been a pleasure to work with them. And so without further ado, let's move on 
to make these seniors at Shawsheen a group of graduates. Jonathan Dalton. Ryan Dennis. Skyla Ferrante Timmons. Cody McDonald. Lauren McInnes. Kaden McDonald. John O'Donnell. Kyle Riolejo. Caden Schoenig. Evan Uftring. Caden Urquhart. Jonathan Blamis. Nathan Cohan. Kira Lindolfi. Daniel Benassi. Heather Brown. Ryan Custance. Nicholas Gonzalez. Jacob Martell. Nicole Nelson. Daniel Penny. Nathan Patrone. Evan Pinto. Jake Russo. Zachary Sears. Jason Svensson. Ryan Taylor. Joseph Wixon. Regan Lakey. Tristan Bowler. Brianna Kakamisi. Rayana Delaire Bogard. Colin Donahue. Dante Jerrier. Emily Igo. Michael Maselli. Christian Rainoni. Paige Rivera. Emma Skelton. Alexis Toro. Matthew Woosley.
Seriously. Mason Boudreau. Quinn Brown. Joseph Colbert. Robert Dodge. Jake Evans. Timothy Kent. Aiden McLeod. Dominic Morcos. Ryan Murphy. Andrew Oliveira. Blake Parrott. Jake Perry. Adam Kwame. Patrick Smith. Shane Townsend. Gabriel Viana. Jackson Ward. Ty Whitney. Jared Wilson. Joseph Woodward. Dominic Zampa. Megan April. Summer Arsenal. Jenna Bonapane. Kayla Chase. Robin Chase. Jade Crawford. Kaylee Phone. Brooke Haley. Brina Kelly. Lily McLaughlin. Caitlin Memolo. Emily Murphy. Emily Piggott. Christopher Booker. Tigran Checkman. Benjamin Gultz. Ash Harris. Isabella Jimenez. Aiden McLeod. Eli Ober. Cameron Smith. Cameron Tucker.
Sarah Walsh. Emily Cruz. Haley Cullity. Gianna Domenico. Gabriella DeSalva. Brianne Fitzgerald. Leah Jackson. Natalie Martin. <laughs> Samantha Polcaro. <laughs> Haley Rizzuto. <laughs> Carly Roberts. Godly Souffron. Olivia Venezia. <laughs> Ash Anna Lambadakis. <laughs> Ariana Barillas. <laughs> Remington Bowen. Ashley Cashel. <laughs> Elizabeth De Palma. <laughs> Holly Fell. <laughs> Lauren Frontaine. <laughs> Jada Cafrito. <laughs> Maya Herlihy. Jasoni Kamukama. Rebecca McCarthy. Grace Mello. Taylor Mills. Uh, Elizabeth Morrow. Marjorie Zimmer. <laughs> Tiffany Barrera Perry. Anthony Bastianelli. <laughs> Eric Bellavia. <laughs> Liam Benston. <laughs> Sophie Brewer. <laughs> Isabella Catalano. Simon Dunham. Benjamin Hollenbeck. Luke Matarazzo. Lindsay McCarthy. Kaylee Souza. Troy Warwick. Michael Ballou. Cal 
Melvin Betancourt. Joshua Bullock. Jake Bonapane. Cameron Camilio. Matthew Dodge. Christian Donnelly. Savas Filios.
Madison Bastarash. Kylie Beavis. Olivia Bongiovanni. Alexia Vanilla. Carrie Brown. Carrie Ann Calvoni. Claudia Guerrero. Excuse me, Claudia Guerrero. Michaela Nee. Paige Lipsky. Caitlin McPherson. Sandra Maldonado. Jasmine Martinez. Jenna Parker. Katrina Raymond. Ella Reardon. Taylor Reinhardt. Sarno. Christina Sukalis. Michaela Vidum. Ava Zaccanini. Nathan Barnes. <laughs> Timothy Cassidy <laughs> Brady Darcy <laughs> Jonathan DeFeo <laughs> Right? Corrado DeVito. Andrew Diggins. Colin DePisa. Sean Falvey. Tristan Falzone. Michael Lawson. Cooper Lemieux. Coop. Hayden Lockhart. Ryan Mazzolo, Dane Seidel, Joseph Soli, Tyler Athanas, Christian Body. Aiden Kerbals. John Crane. Mark DiStefano.
Jaden Donaher. Adam Dussault. Kelly Fireheart. Nicholas Foster. Tyler Francois. Connor Greenalge. Daniel Judge. Jacob Keen. Jack Flint. Calvin LeMay. Charlie Massino. Rebecca Nunes. Noah Hooray. Joshua Pinto. John Conti. Alyssa Wallace. John Allard. <laughs> Russell Bielski. Connor Roderick. Tyler Card. Leah Casey. Joseph Conti. Matthew DiZaglio. Lindsay Frontaine. Xander Kitty. Christopher O'Connor. Jesse Quigley. Noah Rizzo. Sarah Simons. Gianni Zampa. Caitlin April. Mihail Ashmanov. Mia Visso. Brooke Carlquist. <laughs> Alyssa Cavanaugh. <laughs> Joseph Famolare. <laughs> Kelsey Giordano. Hannah Lyle. Carly Melanson. Michaela Melanson. Paige Mercier. Brielle Piggott. Alexa Strong. Abigail.
Gail Tortellini. Francesca Barallo. Eric Winnitzer. Anthony Oscalillo. Avery Frost. Jacob Leahy Barnum. Joshua Mayer. Matthew Ryan. Brandon Waddell. Kevin Ackerley. Aiden Bartell. Aiden Bondanza. Nicholas Caloro. Evan Curtis. Nicholas Gagnon. Tyler Keen. Colin Kelly. Jonathan McEcker. Connor McDevitt. Jalen Mitchell. Conlin Powell. Jeremy Silva. Colin Strong. Tyler Sutherland. Evan Williams. this time.
this. Down there. What's that? We're gonna go down there. I know we are. Let me play a few more. 